Good morning. When does sudden destruction come? We're looking at 1 Thessalonians 5, verses 1 to 3. But concerning the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I should write to you. For you yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so comes as a thief in the night. For when they say, Peace and safety, then sudden destruction comes upon them, as labor pains upon a pregnant woman, and they shall not escape. Sudden destruction comes upon the unwatchful. So authentic Christians don't really have an issue here because we are watchful. We uh, are seeking the Lord Jesus more or less all the time, and so we don't have to try to catch up, or we're not worried about being caught and then having to catch up quickly. We're just seeking to walk with Jesus every single day and have a clear personal relationship with Him on a day-by-day -day basis. So we are always ready, always ready. There's nothing wrong with charting out end-time events. There's a lot that we can know. There really is. But we're not obsessed with things like that. As we're walking with Jesus, no emergency can overtake us for which we're not prepared. And while he was with them, no doubt, Paul, Paul taught the Thessalonians a lot about the prophecies. Look, this whole book has got a pretty big focus on the second coming of Jesus. So we know that that was surely a, a significant part of what the church was being taught. So they already had some things, and Paul's referring back to those things. He's saying, remember the things we talked about. They knew that the coming of the Lord would be like, it's likened here to a thief in the night. And so where is he going with that? The thief comes at a time when you don't expect it. So that's really the purpose of this analogy. It's going to be very surprising and very unexpected uh, to a lot of people when it actually does come. They'll have been settled into kind of a calmness, a business as usual, kind of lulled in with the world. And that brings us to this issue of peace and safety. It says, it's going to come like a thief in the night. When they say peace and safety, well, then sudden destruction comes. Peace and safety is interesting because, you know, what we had here was the Pax Romana, the peace of Rome. At the time of Paul, there was no other nation even, even remotely uh, vying with Rome for control of, of Western civilization. This was, uh, this was the thing. And from the, from the eyes of the, of the people who lived in that time, they probably didn't see anything else but Rome out there. And it looked like the government can, can keep the peace, we got no issues here. The government guarantees the peace. This was even the slogan, Pax Romana, the peace of Rome. And so in that setting, remember, we are Christians are people who trust in the Lord Jesus. We don't trust in the governments. You know, we, we, we're not looking for trouble. We're just carrying on with our business, and we're not trying to get in anybody's way. We believe in free will. That's a very big piece of our belief, and so it's not our business to compel people to believe just like we do. Sure, we want to share. In Daniel chapter 6, you'll remember they passed a law that nobody's to pray except to King Nebuchadnezzar, and Daniel went on home after they uh, put that law into effect. The decree goes into effect, and what did he do? He opened his windows just like before, knew they would be surveilling him, and he, he opened his windows and prayed to the God of heaven anyway, and got the result too from it. So we just carry on about our business. We're not moved. We're following the Lord Jesus, and that's an important piece of being a Christian. So when he says peace and safety, Paul's really giving a warning to those who are putting their trust in government. And that's an issue for us today too, isn't it? Sometimes we put too much trust in government, and that's, that's not what we are to do. Some people are functionally making an idol out of the government. We just trust in the government. We get our medicine from the government, our money, our retirement, whatever it is. It's all coming from the government. Well, we need to be trusting in the Lord Jesus. And we should remember, too, Rome fell. Human governments rise, human governments fall. They come up and they go down. And so the Christians stay steady because we're serving King Jesus. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, uh, bless us with carefulness, with uh, steadiness as we serve you. And Lord, when they say peace and safety, when they say everything's under control, the human governments have got it all going just right, Help us to know that's a sign that destruction is imminent. We want to trust in you. Bless, Lord, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Sudden destruction comes when people trust in people. And it says here that it's going to be like a woman who is pregnant, and there comes a time of labor pains because she's giving birth, and it can't be stopped. So let's. would you join me in trusting in the Lord Jesus? Have a wonderful day. God be with you.